Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Tauk CEO Dan Mahar, and this is Insider Travel Videos. Dan, we wanted to talk first. We're actually here in your brand new offices in Wilton, Connecticut. Uh, you've been here about a year now. Can you talk a little bit about why you moved and what these offices do for your employees? Uh, sure, James, and welcome. Glad to have you here and uh, to see our beautiful new offices. But uh, we had a few goals with our uh, selection of this particular site, and, the f and one of the key drivers was something we call vitamin N, and N being nature. And uh, we want to connect more with nature as mm. an environment for our, our employees to do their work. And um, it really came from two drivers. Number one, there's a lot of volatility all around the world, you know, from weather-related incidents, civil unrest, uh, terror, whatever. Uh, and at the same time, you also have um, an increasing speed. Everything has to be done quicker and quicker and quicker. And we thought a connection with nature would be a great environment for which to allow our people uh, and our team to do their work together. And so we chose a site here on uh, 65 acres in Wilton, Connecticut. It's an all glass building. Uh, we have 10,000 square feet of outdoor decks. Every single person in the company has uh, hiking shoes. Yeah, I has, saw those earlier, pretty yep, impressive. Very comfortable shoes, has a parka. Uh, we have snowshoes. We have uh, just a variety of ways uh, to encourage our, our team to get out and use the space externally. And then internally, uh, we have a lot more meeting rooms of all different sizes. I saw that, an amazing number. To collaborate <laughs> together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a very nice uh, cafe. We have a family room area. We have several fireplaces. So we try to create this really warm, serene environment for people to do their work. And, and everyone seems very, very happy. So I'm yeah, pleased it, about that. It's definitely an upgrade from your previous facility, which was an upgrade from the previous facility. <laughs> so you've been doing a lot of work there. Yeah, our employees were great. They gave us a lot of input in terms of the type of environment they thought would be best for our company and for them thems uh, themselves and then we had this whole idea around connecting with nature and we were able to find this site so it's uh, it's worked out for everybody well let's talk uh, turn to a little bit how how you're doing talc and how business is how was 2016 a lot of people think 2016 was a difficult year how was it for talc uh, you know, overall uh, 16 there were a lot of different curveballs through the year certainly a lot of uh, different elements of volatility. Again, natural disasters with fires out west, high low waters, um, some terrorism in, in various parts, a uh, very engaging election, uh, certainly. We had an election um, last year. We I'm did, not, yes. Yeah. Amazing about that. Yeah. But through it all, you know, for us, it ended a pretty remarkable year. You know, I think it really speaks to uh, the customers we serve and how much they value travel. Um, they still want to travel and they want to collect experiences, they want to have experiences, they want to uh, connect with their family, they want to connect with their friends, mm -hmm. and travel is a perfect uh, enablement for them to do that. And so uh, we saw customers maybe choosing to avoid certain places, but overall, uh, they travel just as much as they had in, in prior years, and it ended a very good year. In fact, um, for 2017, we, we had a record backlog of sales for the forward year for 2017 by the year on 2016. So it really speaks, I think, to uh, customers' resiliency and customers' interest in the type of experiences we're providing. So uh, we're very optimistic about, about 2017. And you also have a good split of domestic versus uh, uh, foreign destinations, right? We do. Our diversification uh, clearly pays off in times like this. Um, we're seeing strong demand uh, for a lot of regions around the world, certainly the American West, um, Canada is very, very strong, um, but so is Northern Europe, Southern Europe, uh, Central Europe is now coming back very nicely. Uh, Africa is actually having a boom year for us for 2017. Um, all of our small ships are full, river cruising is filling up, so overall that diversification uh, is really helpful during the course of the year. And uh, and that's what sets us up, you know, well going into 17. So you said 17 is looking good so far, right? It is. It is um, very strong uh, advanced sales, as I mentioned, in the comparables. This is a little bit weaker environment this time last year. And so our comparables um, each week that goes by here in the first quarter are all very, very positive and very up 
over last year at this time. Let's talk a little bit about the different product lines you have. Uh, first of all, I guess start with, I would call it Tauk Classic, your, your mm -hmm. regular Tauk tours. How, how, are, how are they doing and what seems to be popular this coming year? You know, maybe I'll, I'll, st I'll start for a minute and just say our, our current plan is, is sort of sunsetting. We had a 2013 to 2017 plan that is now ending this year and okay. we're in the process of creating a new plan through 2020 to 22. And uh, so as we look around the different lines of business, um, you know, we're very pleased that the lines we're in, and uh, we see a lot of innovative opportunities in each of those uh, moving forward. Um, in terms of the land programs, clearly um, demand is very strong for North America, so we're trying to add more capacity. We're introducing several new tours in, in 2017 and 18. Uh, particularly in the American West and in Canada. I think the National Park Centennial is, is clearly drawing a lot of interest there. We're also seeing interest in Northern Africa. We have a new program in Morocco. Um, parts of Italy, we're introducing a new program in uh, Umbria in, in 2017. Um, we're exploring, um, we'll move into the small ship area. Uh, we have a pretty big growth year in small ship with four new itineraries, uh, Norway, the British Isles, uh, an Athens to Venice and a Spain Western Med uh, program. So we mm -hmm. continue to see a good growth there and we're gonna have some uh, more announcements coming this spring about new programs in, in 2018 and beyond. Um, river cruising, we have an exciting year upcoming after this past year. We we just christened two new uh, beautiful river boats and I was quite... Um, and how many do you have now total? We have nine river boats in okay. Europe and um, and I was very pleased six of our employees were godmothers for those two new river boats and they're great brand, brand ambassadors. And uh, for 2017, we are taking our two French river boats and we're doing extensive renovations on them to create more suites. Uh, so we'll take the number of customers down to under 100 passengers. Um, everybody knows our, our suites sell first and so we can add more suite. Uh, opportunities and we're also upgrading the bistro restaurants that become so popular. So you actually have almost a rechristening of some of those vessels, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now talk a little bit, if you could, about the uh, some of your other brands, Tauk Culturius and of course Tauk Bridges and how they're doing. Uh, Tauk Bridges is our family brand and that was a record year in 2016 and I think this will be another record year in 2017. We've little see, we've seen a bit of a shift in terms of people um, at increasing rates purchasing North America, Western, the U.S. or Canada in particular, and Costa Rica, the Galapagos. Um, we've also uh, doubled our capacity on river cruising for families. It's a great family program, great family experience in the summertime. And so now we'll have programs on the Rhine, on the Danube, on the Rhone, and on the Seine River in 2017. And those are all filling up uh, very nicely. Yeah, and I've always maintained that family cru family river cruising is a great option. And finally, some companies are starting to dis discover that. So it's great that you're doing that. Uh, talk a little bit about, and Culturius is your other brand, right? Yes, the Tau Culturius. And those are more active, uh, enrichment-oriented itineraries, more zoned in, smaller geographic areas, smaller group. And, uh, and those continue to sell very well um, again this year. No new programs planned for 2017, uh, but 2018 we'll have some more announcements. And I wanted to end, uh, you'd mentioned them earlier, the small ship cruising. Uh, you said those are doing well and you got more programs pl planned. But one thing I wanted to ask is, uh, what do you have planned in terms of small ship? I know you have tours in Cuba, but what about cruises? Uh, stay tuned, this spring we'll have some uh, announcement regarding a new program to Cuba in 2018. Um, with our partnership with Penat. Well, that looks that would be very exciting. And I was just in, in Cuba. I think it's still going to be very much a great option for American travelers. Well, Dan, thank you very much for filling us in on what's going on with Tauk and these beautiful new offices, very expansive. I, I don't know if you'll outgrow them right <laughs> away this time. I hope Hopefully not. not. <laughs> Hopefully we're here for a while. <laughs> yes. Well, it's been great to see them and get a tour around, and thanks for that. It's great to see you. And uh, hopefully we'll see Tauk do even better for 2017. Well, thank you, James, and, and best luck with your new venture. Very, very pleased and uh, proud that you're taking this new step. Thank you very much, Dan. And I'm James Schellinglaw for Insider Travel Report. <laughs>